arena. Immediately starting strong with the jab is Jordanis Ugas, but coming in with the lefts, immediately moving forward is Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao, so explosive, quick, has dynamite in both hands. Freddie Roach made him a two-handed fighter to make his right hand destructive like his left. Or Dennis Ugas, fundamentally sound, Cuban bronze medalist in 2008 for Cuba in Beijing. And he looks to be considerably the bigger man. We don't have an unofficial scale, but I would gather to say that Ugas probably looks like 160. Well, the Ugas camp did say that they want to focus in on attacking the body of Manny Pacquiao to try to take away some of his legs and his speed because Pacquiao, oh, there's a straight left and Ugas got popped, but he wasn't in any danger. He was just off balance. A couple of straight lefts that crashed right into the face of Ugas. Manny Pacquiao obviously has the faster hands and now he's unloading. Ugas though pushes him off. There's the size difference and there's an overhand right that backed up Pacquiao. Ugas with the right hand that caught Pacquiao, but Pacquiao answers with the straight left right on the button. Ugas smiles at him. Just over the midway point of this, our first round. Already considerable action in the first several moments of this fight. There's a right to the body that backed up Pacquiao. Ugas is really focusing in on attacking the body of Pacquiao to try to take away some of the spring from the legs of Pacquiao. Pacquiao generates a lot of his power from his legs. You see those bulging calf muscles that have been so emblematic of him. Freddie Roach said that Manny Pacquiao in sparring looked tremendous. He knocked out two sparring partners over the past several weeks towards the end of training camp. We are under 40 seconds to go in the first round. There's a left to the body, and Pacquiao says, hey, come on, keep him up. What energy here at T-Mobile Arena for Pacquiao and Ugas. Stiff jab for Ugas. Ugas was successful against Abel Ramos by using a litany of jabs, and Ugas just pushes him down. And that ends the first round. Scheduled for... Ugas with his jab. Everything with Ugas offensively starts off the jab. Pacquiao uses a variety of different angles and tries to connect upon you from areas that you wouldn't conceive of thinking about. Double jab right in the face of Manny Pacquiao. You know, there was a rumor that was floating around earlier today about there being a bicep injury to your Dennis Ugas. Well, I think that has been put to bed with what we've seen at least th through the first round. Plus, as we're now into the second, as Ugas looks terrific, he looks totally healthy, and he pops Manny Pacquiao with the jab. This is a high-level chess match between these two, as they both respect one another. The explosive dynamite in the hands of Manny Pacquiao. The steadfast, high-level boxing ability of your Dennis Ugas. There's a counter right hand for Ugas. Ugas does not seem to be... He's not overwhelmed by the moment. There's a right to the body backing up Pacquiao. But back comes Manny. Ugas seems to be comfortable in there. And he is naturally the bigger man... And he's the younger man. 70 seconds left here in the second. Pacquiao looking for those openings, but Ugas' defense has been superb here in this second round. His forearms are so massive that when he covers up, it really does a good job of protecting the face and 
for the most part, the first half of the upper body of your Dennis Ugas. So not much of a free target for Pacquiao to land upon because of how big your Dennis Ugas is. There's a right to the body, and that backed up Pacquiao. But back comes Manny. Ugas is game plan. All right, that's backing up Pacquiao. Oh, boy. Ugas is backing up Pacquiao. And a right down the middle. Ugas looks fantastic here in the second. That body work is paying dividends. Ismael Salas, the Ugas camp, they said, well, Manny looks to be not as shredded as he's been in recent memory. We are going to test his conditioning and attack his body. Punches up. That ends the second. Bit of a cut, but it's not bleeding. It's a bruising underneath his right eye. We'll see if Pacquiao total punches landed thrown through the second round. Ugas 29 of 74 for a 39% connect percentage. Pacquiao 20 of 116 for a 17% connect percentage. And you would attribute that to the high-level defense and the ring IQ of your Dennis Ugas. Ugas has been awaiting a fight like this for his entire career, and now he has it. For Pacquiao, he's done this many times over again. Over 25 years as a professional prize fighter, but as you get up in age, you start to wonder, is that will father time ever catch up with Manny Pacquiao? There's a straight left for Pacquiao as a minute has elapsed here in the third. There's a right hand that caught the attention of Pacquiao. Ugas is showcasing and really sitting down in his punches, landing big shots. Even though they are knockout blows, and Ugas gets backed up momentarily by a quick combination from Pacquiao. Midway point of the third. Ugas seems to be extremely comfortable in there, but he knows that he has to deal. And now the chance of Manny echoing here in Las Vegas. But if you notice, Ugas is doing little subtle things, moving his head, a good footwork. It's those little slight fates, and he just gets popped with the straight left from Pacquiao. Under a minute to go here in the third. Now Pacquiao unloads, but a lot of them are partially blocked from Ugas. Ugas with a counter right hand, but back comes Pacquiao. He drives him to the ropes with a right hand, and now Pacquiao letting his hands go. A left followed by a right to the chest by Ugas to Pacquiao. Pacquiao took a big deep breath. Those body punches might be having an effect. There's a right on the top of the head of Pacquiao. Might have affected his equilibrium for a brief second. There's a couple of lefts and Pacquiao going to the body of Ugas. Back comes Pacquiao, but Ugas counters with the right. Pacquiao looking to swarm Ugas, but Ugas plants his feet and delivers a counter right hand. And we are three fourth round. This one is scheduled for 12. Power punches through three. Pacquiao 27 of 89 for a 30% connect percentage. Ugas 17 of 27 for a 63% connect percentage. Ugas just landed a right to the body of Pacquiao. Pacquiao looking to unload. Well, Mike Pacquiao has seen every style imaginable, but no doubt he is having significant issues with your Dennis Ugas, the champion who's 35 years of age. There's a right hand smashing right into the face of Pacquiao. There's a right hand by Ugas. Pacquiao shrugs it off.